Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Module MCX Spear devlog. Uh, it's been a long time, been working on a whole bunch of stuff, still things to tweak, uh, but I figured you guys are overdue an update, and there's some pretty cool stuff, so let's get into it. First things first, uh, let's start with the uh, XM157 scope here. So, uh, the most notable change is that we are now running on the Anton slash Ole uh, scope shader, uh, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see, we've got our one to eight x zoom here. Um, our our scope, you know, like the 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 eye relief and all of that is pretty much dialed in uh, to be <laughs> just about perfect here on the playful setting with this um, Magpul SLK stack. Um, so we. Pull it right up to our eye here. Uh, even when we get all the way up to, to 8x, it's uh, just about perfect. I kind of want to make it a bit more forgiving since it is playful. Um, but uh, yeah, there's still still some things to be done here uh, in general. You know, like the, the scope itself, like the shader system itself, is still not entirely complete. Uh, so I, I don't want to put out anything that Ole is not 100% uh, satisfied with. But, uh, you know, we've got our windage and uh, elevation <laughs> and now that I've played with it uh, let me go ahead and uh, reset that back to, to where it should be um, doo -doo 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 -doo. there we go um, so let's let's take a look at some some features here um, so if we zoom back in here uh, obviously if we have our pressure pad attached and we press the down button or you know respective button on your controller uh, we get a hold um, that green is a little bit hard uh, to, to read here on this really bright scene so if we grab our brightness knob here uh, which does when you turn it uh, adjust the brightness uh, you can cycle through the settings and change our color from green yellow to red I think red looks really good on this scene but you also have orange um, we can also turn our compass off or on. Uh, you can also turn on a laser that is slave to your zero. Um, so that is that is always pretty much accurate. It does come out of the uh, top of the uh, rangefinder here, so uh, just be aware of that. Let's go ahead and, and turn that off. And if you don't have a pressure pad attached, you can hover over the zero calc and uh, press and hold it and it will give you uh, a reading. So, all of that being said, oh yes, I also forgot about that. When you cycle back to 1x, uh, you can change your dot uh, MOA size. 2 MOA for some precise shots, and then 8 for closer quarter encounters. So, um, with that being said, let's go ahead and take some shots with this brand new Prototype XM7 Steel Mag uh, from SIG. It's loaded up with the 277 Fury Hybrid, um, that high pressure uh, military ammo. Go ahead, load her up. We'll zoom in on that volunteer over there and see if we can get a nice first shot hit. Easy money. Now, let's see if we can take some harder shots. 523. Jerked it. There we go. Let's see how far out that Sosig is. Oh, closer. Got him. Just under the chin. And it was still enough to take him out. Let's see here. That guy's pretty close. Yep, 387. Boom. Let's see if there are any other more difficult shots out here. This thing really does make things easy. As long as you don't miss. Just got him. Yep, I think I killed him. There we go. Perfect. Oh, there's a, a far one out there. 
about 715. Just missed. <laughs> Accuracy through volume. What can you do? Anyways, let's talk a little bit more about magazines. So, obviously we have our uh, XM7 steel mag here, uh, but I have also done the Knight's Armament SR25 in 10 and 20 rounds. Uh, we're already familiar with the Lancer 20 and 25 rounders. Um, these do have a full suite of skins. Um, again, just a reminder, uh, translucent black FDE, translucent FDE, uh, and then just a plain translucent as well. Um, additionally, we do have a full suite of PMAGs now uh, in, in 762. Uh, we have a 10 rounder here, which does not have any skins, uh, but it does accept the floor plates from module AR, um, including the Terran Tactical Extensions. So this is now a 15 round magazine uh, instead of just 10. If you're looking for that extra little bit of capacity, keeping a low profile, that one looks really good. We also have our 20 round PMAG, which does uh, come in FDE, that is a, a provided color by Magpul, uh, but it also accepts PMAGs and extensions. So now you've got yourself a 25 round magazine. However, if that's not your style and you still really want to know what your round count is, the PMAG 25 M118 magazine uh, has a window and witness holes, uh, and of course, as you burn through rounds, uh, you can see whoops, uh, exactly how many rounds you have left. So we've got 10, now we've got about 3 or 2, I guess. Uh, and then this has a neat red follower. Anyways, so that is uh, kind of our, our full suite of AR-10 magazines at the moment. All of these are um, caliber... Uh, convertible between 277 Fury, Hybrid, 7.62x51, and 8.6 Blackout for you sneaky beaky types. So, that's everything new mags uh, and update on the scopes, uh, but I also have some new parts. Uh, come on, lock into place. There we go. Here we have... Uh, <laughs> the shorter end of things uh, for the XM7. It's a virtual world, so uh, we can go shorter. We can always go shorter. Uh, this is a 8-inch uh, uh, handguard and a 10-inch barrel, I believe. Um, and as you can see, it has drastically shortened the uh, operating or op rod uh, on the spear. Normally, it comes out to here, uh, but on these shorter barrels and gas blocks, I've actually cut it down pretty dramatically. So obviously this will uh, reduce effectiveness at range, uh, but it is neat, compact, and very handy. On this build we have the Sig Tango 6T with its uh, throw lever. Um, again, the scope is still not perfect. I, I want to wait until Ole has all of his changes made. Um, but uh, just, just an update there that I have brought this over to the new scope system as well. However, that is not as far as things go. <laughs> there we go, that one locked into place. Uh, here we have a... you know what, I don't even know how short this is. Uh, this is an 8-inch barrel and a 6.5-inch handguard. That previous configuration was a 10-inch barrel and 8-inch handguard ridiculously short. Uh, I don't recommend running this uh, without uh, like a flash hider or something because just like module AR2, the shorter the barrel, the bigger the flare. So there's one last magazine that I haven't shown off here and that is our Magpul D50 drum. 50 rounds of 308 uh, and it does have a follower down there so we can see exactly how many rounds we're burning through. Let's go ahead and watch it rip. Boom, there we go. 
So that is uh, quite the magazine. Looks like that barrel still needs to uh, be adjusted. That's heating up way too fast. Um, but there is still some work to be done here. Uh, like I said, waiting on the scopes, tweaking a few things here and there, uh, but that is largely everything that is new in the XM7 update. Uh, one thing that I did want to point out here, uh, as you may have heard along the uh, course of this video, I have overhauled the sounds for the MCX Spear, specifically the, uh, the handling sounds. So we've got new safety and charging handle uh, and magazine insertion sounds, whether it's plastic or metal. So let's just kind of run through all of those sounds real quick. Uh, that's not going to work. We've got our, pla our metal magazines here. Uh, and then we've got our plastic ones. Uh, and you can also hear the difference when you're grabbing them too. And then if you grab uh, like a plastic mag, Uh, we also have, because we have some, some extended plastic mags, when you grab those, they also make a distinct sound. Very subtle stuff. Uh, and then, of course, drum mags are drum mags. They also have their own uh, pickup sounds. So... For those of you who remember, that is how I got my start in uh, H3VR modding, the, the audio scene. Uh, so I take this stuff pretty seriously. I love this, this new sound set. Uh, very chunky, very representative of the spear. All right, that's everything I've got. I will see you guys in the next one, and we'll try and get this out soon. Take care.